Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about are the structures inside the mouth of the cat. And so, first of all, your cat has some nice little black lips, okay? Um, and between the lips and the um, teeth, this area here is called the vestibule, okay? And then the teeth... Um, the cat has six incisors. When they number teeth and talk about the dental formula, they always start right here at the septum and then they work all the way back. So the, three, the number three in the dental formula refers to the three incisors. Then cats have one nice sharp um, canine tooth here. And then the next teeth, as you go back, it's a little bit hard to see, but you'd see the, the um, premolars, and then way in the back, the molars. Um, on the roof of the mouth, the, cat, the roof of the mouth of the cat is not smooth like ours, um, and the roof of the mouth is, caught, is right over the palatine bone, if you remember, we learned that way back when we studied bones. And then all these little lumps here are called palatine rugae. All right, then if you talk about the tongue, all of these little hairs here um, are what the cat uses to comb his hair, and at the base of these are all the taste buds, so they call those papillae. Underneath the tongue is the area where the tongue attaches to the floor of the um, mouth. If you look very, very carefully, you can see the openings here. There's little tiny holes on either side of this structure, which is called the frenulum. The frenulum holds the tongue down there, and then on either side, on both sides of the frenulum, you have the openings for the submandibular and sublingual glands. Um, the um, parotid gland has an opening. It's pretty hard to find. It's up here by the molars. Um, I think that's basically the structures that you need to know inside the mouth.